Hey there guys, it's Mones here. Speaking to you about the finals, I have a, I really love the game, but I do have some major complaints about ba balance and just fun factor. I mean, we all play games to have fun, but unfortunately, there's a lot of things that make this game really fun and really not fun. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the heavy class. The heavy class is just absolutely broken. It's bonkers how bad it is to play against a heavy class. I mean, let's think about this. If you do some basic math, right, and let's just let's just talk about his dome shield. All right, dome shield, 300 HP. All right, he throws it down. Him and his team have 300 extra HP to play around with. All right, that that's that's 300 HP. Um, and let's say like one of one of the medium classes teammates is low or the heaviest self is low right that's 300 hp buffer to for him to have enough time to pull out his medigun heal up everyone else or res and heal and he can play around that that's just 300 hp 300 extra hp basically another uh heavy class in the game that that the heavy just throws down and boom we have another heavy like basically in the game let's talk about the mess shield 1100 hp 1100 hp let that sink in if you do a little math you're fighting an opponent that has 1450 hp i don't know about you but that is absolutely ridiculous like, you're facing this wall versus people who can shoot through it. You can't shoot through it. They can shoot through it, though. And so you're, you're creating this this dynamic that is just not fun. You're, you're facing, you're shooting a wall. A wall that shoots back at you, right? And now if you just add that extra 300 HP, that is 1,750 HP that you're playing against. And there is zero reason for you to play anything else. Uh, any other ability, any other gadget. Because why would you? You're getting an extra 1,400 HP from it. Now let's move into the Heavy's weapons. The Heavy has an RPG. They nerfed it. They nerfed it so that it does 150 damage minimum um, at a certain range, right? Basically, almost dead on. Not quite dead on. You can still, like, miss them by quite a margin, and you'll instantly kill a light class. That's really fun. It's really fun to get instantly killed by a light class, uh, by uh, RPG, and there is no counterplay. Zero counterplay. That, that is what sucks the fun out of a game like this, is the fact that there isn't counterplay. Is it fun to instantly get killed out of nowhere? Like, sometimes you're facing a team in a building, which actually happened to me. I was facing a team in the building, and then I, out of nowhere, I died. It was another team that just rolled up behind us and just instantly killed me from, with his RPG. All of his guns are pretty viable. All of his... LMGs are viable. Like, if you can hit your shots, you can absolutely melt a light class. You can absolutely melt a medium class if you're hitting headshots. It's just really powerful. His shotgun. You can eliminate most teammates with that four round burst if you hit all your shots. They will melt down. Like, to absolutely nothing. I haven't played too much of, with their weapons, but in my experience of playing, of what I played, and my experience playing against the heavy class, absolutely busted. Their C4 gadget, absolutely crazy that you can just put two C4s down on an explosive barrel and basically drop nukes on, on teams. It will absolutely shower them. Imagine having an entire team of heavies, or maybe just two, two heavies, just two heavies. Think about the health pool of the heavies. That's 3,500 HP that you're playing against if they both like time their bubbles, time their shield walls that's 3,500 HP there's nothing in the game that can destroy that like in theoretically this is a perfect scenario theoretically you could if if this class if you could play this class perfectly with another heavy 
and a medium. Theoretically, you shouldn't die. That's absolutely absurd. Let's move on to the medium class. Honestly, probably the most well-rounded class. Uh, but again, pair it with the heavy. For another medium class, it's a little bit busted. The mines are super annoying, uh, if, like especially if you're playing another medium. Another medium, you have you have two each. That's four mines. Have a heavy with mines as well. That's six mines. That can be placed anywhere around the cash out. Strat strategically placed, you're gonna delay it. You, you can delay a uh, cash out for quite a significant amount of time. Healing, shielding, rezzing, healing, shielding, repeat, you will be fine. Now, let's say we're not healing. You can solo medium pretty well. Uh, having a sentry. The sentries act as another person. I don't know the exact number for the health pool of the sentries, but you have another person fighting with you. And that's that's pretty crazy. You can just say, oh, well, you can glitch grenade it. Oh, but the glitch grenade doesn't disable the uh, sentry for very long, and half the time doesn't even disable it at all. Because I've thrown glitch grenades at a sentry, and it disables everything but the sentry. Uh, or maybe when it did disable the sentry, it was like for t one or two seconds. I don't know how long the, dis the sentry dis stays disabled. Not long enough to destroy it. I can tell you that much. Um, not fun to play around. Uh, imagine two sentries. Two mines each. They both can res. Maybe ha they have the thing that destroys things. Like incoming utility that's going at it. There goes your glitch grenades. You're only countered to it. So... Now what? Like, you can't do anything against that, right? Now let's move on to the light class. Light class, that is my main. It's gonna be biased. It's the most unplayable class right now. The point of the light class, you get in, do a little damage, you're full of, uh, you have a lot of movement options, like you're really fast, really small, really hard to get hit, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You get caught lacking, boom, RPG, instantly dies. Medium class, oh, you can work around their, uh, their revolver because it leaves you with five health not really you can't work around it if he's like up close on you like it doesn't really matter you get fucking instantly killed anyways only really two viable loadouts uh the xp 54 and the double barrel shotgun only ability worth using cloak why would you use anything other than cloak you go completely invisible it's really hard to see unless you have a really good monitor you can see the shimmer even when i'm really really looking i still have issues and like it, all it takes for them to kind of rock run past you may run around in a circle yeah, you can get really confused because the shimmer is just not enough you can knock them out of their cloak but um they could just cloak back in they could cloak at any time any time despite cooldown despite everything they can cloak at any point in time come out of cloak shooting blasting they can come out of cloak. You can outplay it, but it's just really annoying, really hard. If they're using a double barrel, you're basically dead. Yeah, really annoying to play against, especially against a double barrel cloak. Double barrel cloak is the most boring meta in this game. I don't care who you are or what you say, double barrel is really boring. If you play double barrel cloak, you just don't like to have fun. And that's as simple as that, like... How are you having fun running around, invisible, not getting shot half the time, instantly killing every single class in the game? Like, that's really fun. Oh, I'm having so much fun, and I, I don't really need to use my brain at all to do this. Because I played the double barrel cloak class. It's really mindless. It's brainless. You don't need a brain at all to play play with the double barrel and, and cloak because both of those things do any sort of thinking for you. I'm being shot at, cloak around a corner and run a different direction. Now they're lost. Now you can attack again uh, at a different angle. The double barrel pretty much will instantly kill you. There is no delay between uncloaking and shooting. Your gun instantly fires as soon as you uncloak. That's very fun to uh, play against and play around. Uh, now, where would I be without suggesting fixes for this? Heavy class just needs a really big rework, uh, I'd say. Lower their health, pool, RPG. Leave a little bit of room, even for the light class. Yeah, I get it, it's a RPG, it should one-shot you. But if we were playing a realistic game, then the RPG should one-shot every class, regardless of health pool. But that's not fun, so leave the light class with some life left 
so that it can still kind of outplay an RPG. It'll, it could probably leave you with 5 HP like the like the revolver does. They can just pull out their weapon and shoot you. There's a very small window of time for you to escape after getting shot with an RPG. That's how you can outplay it. Or that's how you can fix it to make it outplayable. Mesh shield bubble sh and bubble shield. The glitch grenade works. It does work. But in a meta where being light is extremely difficult, it's I find it hard to stay alive long enough to throw a glitch grenade because you can just get third partied out of nowhere. Uh, heavy's weapons c could use a damage nerf because you can melt down every class. Like, if you think about it, why would you play any other class? The heavy has good guns. The heavy has good gadgets. The heavy has good abilities. What does he not have? Speed. Who cares about speed when you can tank and eat shots up and just walk towards them menacingly and kill a whole team? Like, there's no reason not to play heavy. Medium class. Um, it's, it, I, I think it's well-rounded. Um, mines are annoying. You can't limit the amount of mines because you would have to limit how many people can equip mines at one time but then there's not going to be a lot of customizability within your teams sentries have less health pool the medium class can play place down another player basically who can shoot uh heavy class can play uh, place down another player which can just take shots for every single person in the in their team uh the light class make their other weapons more viable or more fun to use. I think the throwing knives are really fun and pretty viable when you play it with the uh, invisibility because you can charge a right click, go invisible, and then line it up and throw it for big damage. That's fun. Can we have more like that? Because that's really fun. Make the other uh, class, it'll make the other abilities more fun. Uh, grapple, pretty fun, but uh, most people can just shoot you out of the sky. Um, and a lot of maps it's not all that viable because if you're any good at movement you can climb pretty much everything uh, pretty easily or, or medium class has jump pad and zip zip line uh, grapple's not really viable I don't think anyone really plays grapple uh, I really liked grapple initially but uh, not really all that fun uh, cloak cloak I think the best fix is make the shimmer easier to see they spy in team fortress 2 um, when they get shot at they shimmer in a way that is very very visible um, yeah they can still get away but it's very visible so make their shimmer like that not like when they get shot, but when they're running around, make them shimmer like that every so often. If they shimmer like that, they'll be easier to spot and easier to play around and play against. Make it so that there's a delay between uncloaking. Maybe you need to uncloak yourself before you can perform any action. Just like in Team Fortress 2, the spy cannot do anything while cloaked. They have to decloak, wait while their decloaking is happening, and then they can perform their action. If they make it like that, I think cloak will be a lot more balanced, a lot more fun to play against, a lot less brain dead to play as. Double barrel, same thing. I think it killing lights instantly is okay because you can still play against against and around that. If it doesn't at least do that, it would be kind of pointless to use because it would just do so little damage. And right now it's the only viable weapon to use against heavies. For ranked force teams to have one of each class, I think that would make ranked fun one of each class for every team so you have to build around each class you're able to have stuff in your reserve and swap things out in your reserve uh before the round starts i think that would make competitive uh, ranked more fun. You know, my buddies were talking about solutions. Uh, there's not really going to be a solution. It's going to be a shifting meta. Like, all they can do is shift the meta. A gun's too powerful? Nerf it. Make another gun powerful. Now everyone will gravitate to the, towards that. It's a competitive game. There's always going to be a meta. And no matter what the devs do, like, something is going to be stronger than the other. 
some things are going to be unplayable or not worth playing. At the end of the day, the game is supposed to be fun. Play it how you please, but if you're anything like me, I have fun. I love playing the game, but it's not fun when you spend half the time on the death screen. I don't sit around and play games all day like I used to. So being able to hop on and have fun for a little bit is pretty important in a game like this, especially for a competitive person like me. I love being competitive. It's really fun to be competitive, but it's not fun when you can't play something. Like I literally, it, the light class is nearly unplayable without a strong team around to play with you. And I just, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of issues. Anyway, guys, this is Mones signing out. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments uh, what you think of these complaints, what you would try to do to improve the game. Hopefully, maybe next time we'll see a more significant changes in nerfs and buffs uh, across the board. Anyways, you guys have a great day.